Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin. It's a Saturday morning. I was not intending to do any shooting today, but my MacBook Pro that went in for a keyboard repair on Monday is now back on Saturday. So they turned it around pretty quickly. I talked a little bit about my keyboard issues on my weekly wrap-up video. I have one of the very first MacBook Pros that has the new design with the touch bar, and the keys have been a problem throughout its life, but it really uh, kind of hit the wall uh, last week when my space bar went out. So I took advantage of the Apple keyboard program. I think my Apple Care is still valid on this thing, but uh, regardless, if you have one of the newer design keyboards, they will replace it for you if there's an issue. Now I folded the paper over here, but we can take a look and see what they repaired on my MacBook here. So it looks like they have replaced the top case uh, completely here along with the bottom case, it said the enclosure, there was mechanical and cosmetic damage or something, so they fixed that. It also looks like they replaced some cables on the I.O. board. Uh, so let's take a look and see how the MacBook looks here. And hopefully it will work just fine. What I'm most curious about is to whether or not they are using the new keyboard design now or if they are just going with a repair of the old design. Uh, but it looks like I have a brand new keyboard, actually, because my C key was all messed up. Uh, so this is definitely feeling better and different than it did before. Uh, so that's encouraging. And man, this thing has never been this clean. Actually, it was this clean when I took it back in <laughs> the last two times. So yeah, it looks like I definitely have a new bottom uh, and a new top and a new keyboard. Uh, but my computer is booting up to where I had left it off. So it looks like they didn't replace the uh, main motherboard. Now this computer has had a few other issues in the past. Uh, the first was the speakers blew out uh, due to a driver bug initially when you went into boot camp when you put windows on it. It blew out the speakers so they replaced it completely at that point. Uh, and then a little bit later my USB-C ports were getting loose connections and they replaced the uh, bottom part of the computer that time as well. So this is the third replacement here but the keyboard definitely looks good. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is, um, I, I'm really nervous about doing this, but I'm going to pry off a key because I'm curious to see if it has that new uh, membrane uh, that they are putting into their newer keyboards here. And I was following along on a few uh, videos about how to get into this thing gently. So we're just going to try to pry this key out very gently here as to not to break it. And hopefully we will see what goes on there. I've got to find another tool. So let me go get that real quick and we'll pull this key off and see what's underneath. All right, so we got that key pulled off. I'm going to bring my cell phone over here so we can get a better look at the mechanism. Uh, now, I did check out uh, the iFixit uh, website where they took apart the newer keys and compared them to the older ones. Uh, this, if it was the newer key, would have a membrane over the mechanism. It doesn't. So I don't know if this is going to hold up in the long run because there's really not much different here. So it looks like they can't get that new membrane keyboard onto the older equipment here like I have. So we'll have to see what the long term is of this. Perhaps they made some changes that might improve things, but that membrane uh, should be covering the butterfly mechanism here. And as you can see, it does not appear to have that in there at all. So we'll have to see again what the long term implications of this are. Uh, but it is good at least that you know, three years into ownership here, they stood by it and not only sent me a new keyboard, but replaced most of the equipment as well. So it looks great. They even cleaned the screen for me. And I will let you know how this does over the long term. Uh, but I know some of you were interested in this whole keyboard thing because I have yet to meet somebody with an older MacBook Pro like mine with the butterfly keys that doesn't have a problem. If you do have a problem, which is likely, uh, you can send the computer into Apple and they will fix it for free. There's a keyboard uh, repair program that's been ongoing. And my suggestion when they have these voluntary programs is to take advantage of them as soon as you need to, uh, because sometimes they do go away. And I think at some point they'll stop fixing keyboards for free and you might want to get in there and get it done. So uh, that is it for now. I'm going to put the key back on. Hopefully I didn't break it when I pulled it off. And I will keep you posted as to how this does in the long term. Thank you all for watching, and this is Lon Seidman. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Brian Parker, and Kalyan Kumar. 
you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.